You know what's been dope is that the people that I trust with their opinion have gotten back to me. And the number one thing is when they say, I don't skip a song. That's like, psh. They've been calling me a legend, but never in the same spectrum as the top 10 never mentioned. And I'm good with that, because I never would have had the life I It was one of those things where it was reminiscent of the arsonist in a sense of that, that camaraderie, you know, the togetherness and this, this, this unit, you know, a big unit of, uh, you know, homies hanging and, and doing hip hop. It reminded me of what we had, you know, before we even put out a record. Destroy had pointed out when you put the names together, it sounds like a band and you're, you're, you're already, you know, doing the band thing. So it kind of sounds cool. Q Unique and the Brown Bag also, it sounds like a band, like an indie band. Outside of that, just learning their approach, it, it, it made me approach this way differently, man. I still have like certain things that I kind of look at like at like an old school way, like set up time and all, but they definitely helped me approach this differently, you know? And, and they showed that they cared. I remember we were gonna do some artwork and he wasn't going for the simple stuff. So I had to go and get this comic book artist named Nwabi from, from France and he designed the album cover. He's somebody I worked with before who's really dope. So everything just got pieced together really with, with quality, man. It was actually Audible that turned it into an album because he, I, I don't know why, but initially I was like, let's just do an EP. And it was going so sm it, it went so smoothly that he was like, why? This is flowing so smoothly and everything's happening so effortlessly. Let's just make it an album. And he got me excited about going further. And so we ended up doing a 10 song album this Black Coffee project was probably the quickest project that I've been a part of from concept to, to finish stage. The, the, the boom bap or the real hip hop hasn't went anywhere. It's here. It's always been fresh and new and people have been putting out great music. I was at a place where I wasn't sure if the music that I love and the music that I like is still viable in today's market and in today's climate. But since the creation of it and how it came out and, and the response so far, it gave me hope that there's still definitely a place for, for just good hip hop music. Everything starts with DJ Element. He, he sent me that beat for the song Black Coffee and we did it. And for some reason in my gut, I was like, I wanna hold on to this. Everything is very different. The tone of my voice, the flow of it, the, 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 the hooks, the, the vibe, the, the, the word selection. The content, everything is just a, a different thought process was put to this. It's Q Unique and the Brown Bag All-Stars. The name of the album is Black Coffee. It's on iTunes. Um, you can also go to QUnique.com. My genealogy is made up of a criminal mind, categorized as a rapper of the lyrical kind. Better watch your step, it's a slippery street corner, street performance, performing the beat up a week in the